down to the kind of political environment that is created for elective politics. When it comes to appointments, you see that certain um, administration, certain people, even the current government tries, you know? Uh, they, they're not afraid to have women as ministers. They're not afraid to have women as um, as deputy ministers on, on boards. The percentage is not that great. Women, we've had women in the, the top of that. But it, when it comes to elective politics, something happens. And I, I think it's the nature of our politics, the acrimonious, toxic, nature of politics and also the patronage system uh, that characterizes politics here. And that's why you don't get women either contesting or when they do contest, they don't uh, go far. And I know that because I've talked to a few women politicians and when you're socialized, as we all are, as women in, in, in a, a patriarchal society like Ghana, nice women don't get embroiled in certain things, in quotes. And therefore, if you're a woman in politics and you are out there and, 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 and we have uncivil political discourses where people are tearing at each other and you go toe to toe, then you're not a very nice woman. You know, um, and then you get called names. I've had women politicians who have told me, my 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 mother says no. My I mean my people are begging me, don't go into that free. It, it's not dignifying of, of of you. We know you're better than that. Um, I I had a long long time ago, a politician, a, a female politician, telling me that even when you campaign, the time you have to campaign and, and, and do the kinds of things you need to do to get ahead is not friendly towards women. And you, if you don't have a very supportive husband, for example, if you're a married woman, you do get into trouble. So I think it's the nature of competitive politics that makes it very inhospitable for women. 